time. Totti. And here's Stoichkov. He's had a shot. Goal! Manchester United! Such thrill, such noise, and how this matters. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. We're going to be taking an in-depth, deep dive at Francesco Totti. Now, obviously, I haven't really used Toddy before, and to be honest, there's so many players in the game that can play attacking midfielder, and whole players are always going to be a bit more favoured, especially if you play possession. You do need those players to make those runs, especially if you're not playing long ball counter, right? But we're going to take a look at Toddy. I'm going to show you an unbelievable build for him, and I still think he's a little bit underrated, this card, especially as a creative playmaker. If you like playing with creative playmakers... This is his base card here off the rip, 87 attacking midfielder. He's going to have his ball control, dribbling type position and low pass uh, with the Technique plus two booster. We're going to throw another booster on him in a second as well. But look at the stats and the skills. Very, very nice. I do like his, his uh, phenomenal finishing as well. And we're going to show you that this with this build and this card, the amount of positions that he picks up to finish chances is just insane. Now he can see that he can link the play as an attacking midfielder and traditional creative playmaker. And also get on with those runs that a lot of players don't really make those runs. A lot of creative playmakers don't make those runs. But Toddy has such high offensive awareness, such brilliant balance and, uh, you know, kind of stamina and stuff. He's able to get into those positions. And his finishing is top drawer, like either foot. You're going to see him into the six-yard box a lot of the time, right? And into that penalty spot. He also has a bit of balance about him and a bit of pace and speed. He's actually thrown players out of the way there and just holding them off. And that has got to do with his physical contact, which we'll show you as well. Very quick feet, lovely double touch, and uh, just overall a very fun card. So this is the build that we've got for here, gone for here. Obviously, we're going to be advancing with that attack and awareness for the booster. That's going to bring it up there to 90. And that means that you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, probably 10 in the ultimate stat tier, which is the ultimate blue stat tier, right? So we're going to probably throw on this booster on him. That's going to give his attacking awareness and ball control, acceleration and finishing all a boost. Attacking awareness is the key here to this card as a creative playmaker. With a creative playmaker, you need to force the AI into runs. It doesn't handle like a whole player, right? Now, I am working on a big, huge video for playstyles and stuff, but at the moment, playstyles are only important... Really, if you are like struggling with a certain play style, whole players, uh, you know, goal poachers, they won't really make that much of a difference. There is the build uh, that we've tried out there, and we'll show you a couple of little bits and pieces with him as well. Additional skills, very, very nice. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice card, man. You can play around with a little bit of the stats there, but for all intents and purposes, you're looking to have him as your kind of like break starter. And that's what I was really impressed with, with Cruyff and Totti up front. There didn't seem to be, like, they're not a traditional goal poacher or, like, a run and gun, but Toddy seemed to be positioning-wise fantastic. And also, this is, this is like, invaluable at this stage in the game. I get pressed, I do a brilliant double touch there with Toddy, it's fast, it's reactive, and boom, we're straight in for a chance for Stoichkov. He's going to take a belter of a ball, and then our other striker is going to be their Cruyff. Again, a lovely counter-attack with Davids as our CMF, slotting this ball across, and it's a simple tap-in finish from Toddy. So... I do feel like creative playmakers get a bit of a hard time in this game compared to whole players, but if you do play possession, it can be nice. Some of the other playmakers that you have here, such as Del Piero, we'll have a look at Kaka in a second, Guti, Neymar, Rui Casa, Xavi, Van der Vaart, a couple of those players. This is how Toddy compares, right? As ever, boys, I don't like, you know, I don't ever kind of like promote the cards or anything like that in terms of you need to get this card right for players like Cruyff or players like Dennis Law that are unique and are slightly broken in the game um you know it is going to be a different thing right but for Toddy there are a lot of really good creative playmakers so what I would say to you is if it ain't broken your team you don't need to fix it unless Toddy is your favorite player or unless you know you want to spin these other versions of the cards can do a job for you. You know what I mean? It's not like you have to go out to be able to compete with these cards. Yes, they are enjoyable to play with, but there's lots of creative playmakers that can do a job for you. So that is it for that. It's just a short video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think of Toddy, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.